the first thing that I, I, we will say is that you'll notice on this maintenance guide there are some there's a little bit of difference of what we do in the first 30 days on this court versus after the first 30 days okay there's a maturing process that goes on with these courts and so right now they're firm but they're going to get a little bit firmer as time goes on and so the grooming techniques and the equipment that we use for the first uh, month are slightly different than what we do after that because you have to agitate the court a little bit more once it starts to firm up and, and be in these little lines. As these courts mature, they're going to get harder. Okay, that's just the nature of subsurface irrigation of course, they all get a little bit harder over time. So as time goes on, you have to become a little bit more aggressive in the tools that you use. So, and we'll help you monitor this and see how these courts mature. But somewhere 30, 45, 60 days down the road, you're going to want to, one time a day, groom these courts with this product, which is the Gatorade, okay? Because again, it's the courts are going to be moistest and softest in the morning, okay? So you don't want to be too aggressive in the morning, but in the afternoon you can be more aggressive. And so the key to the long-term health and success of a subsurface irrigated court, including our FDC Hydro Court, is to agitate the court surface. Because they're moist all the time, they have more of a tendency to develop hard pans, algae, fungus, all those sort of things. And so the use of a tool like this helps to prevent that from happening. It also gives it a very nice room look. So we're just going to go a little bit on the side right now. Somebody needs to look at it. We've got two rows of teeth on that, alternating teeth. So that kind of breaks up the clay, gives it a, a nice clean look. The key on this is just to barely have the brush hit the lines. If you're too aggressive with it, you're going to wear the, the line, the brush down, or you're going to start taking clay away from the edge of the line, exposing the line more and more. So you, you, you want to just put it down just as much as you need to. Out on you know the monthly basis is uh, these lines are really the only thing that you're going to need to roll. Okay. You will need to, you you will want to roll in the material after you put down the two bags per side. You want to do that too. But once a month, what can end up happening is, of course, the lines will start to come up a little bit. So you want to make sure that you just roll the lines. And the other key thing about rolling is that you only want to go back and forth. You do not want to roll in a circle, which is very tempting with this machine because it's a golf cart. But, but the way you should do it is just straight back, a little to the side, straight forward, a little to the side, straight back, straight forward, not in circles. Uh, inspect and repair any surface damages needed. You just put down bags if there are low areas in the court, and typically they're going to happen in the service boxes and along the service line. Okay. Baseline. Baseline. Excuse me. Uh, so you, you know, maybe once a month you're going to go out there and look and see how you're doing on that. Area. Um, you can use the 30-inch loot scarifier if you see hard pan in any individual areas, like in the corners and those sort of places. You can use the hand tool which we have over there. Yeah, I mean, you're never going to always get to the edges. Right. The corners, so you're going to want to get out and scrape those manually because that's the first place you're going to see algae grow. And when the teeth wear down, replace the blade. Yes. Yeah. Sharpness, These are aluminum. That sharpness is going to give you your agitation. Yeah. So the aluminum's for it I mean, to be just... lightweight, but it also wears down. Especially high on the edge. Yep. Obviously. On the edge, up around the net post, where you're not able to get the tools as close because you're towing it behind the cart. Uh, another thing that you can do if you start to get some uh, areas that are a little stubborn around the edges, you can add a little bit of weight to the top of that, uh, that Gatorade. Just put a bag or two on there and that'll go into it a little bit deeper. Again, you want to avoid doing that until it starts to become, it become a problem. That's when you do that. So, when we build these courts, we, we have about an inch of material all the way across the court. Okay? And to maintain that inch of material over a, a, over a period of time, you need to add about 25 to 50 bags per quart per year. And so it's entirely up to you how you do that, but most people are gonna do that on a monthly basis, just put down two, two bags a side, even. Let's see it. Don't stop. Let's see it. Nice yeah. and steady. Don't stop. So you've got uh, so it's a variable rate spreader. Close. Uh -oh. It's closed. Is it? Uh, that's uh, open I actually. Assemble, so I don't know what's up. And then this, this, this is the adjust. Actually, you've got the adjustment here that you can, you can determine how much it lets out, and how much it puts in. Yeah. Just don't steady. stop. Nice and steady. Keep going. I'll oh, get the yeah. same amount. And it's always good to have somebody follow behind with a broom or the Aussie. Because this as soon this as is something dry, that, that lets up, so there's it doesn't it'll, let it'll any. Pump, it won't pump up, but it'll want to just absorb and not go anywhere. So if you follow behind, it'll spread. 
so you don't get the lines with the dropping. These teeth, see how they're pointing down? Yes. What did they, this this tool is designed? It's a very low. It's not very aggressive, and it can give you a, a nice groomed finish. But its other purpose is to collect debris. So these little teeth run gently across the surface, and as it comes across leaves or other debris, it goes up under, and then it kind of sits up on top of the mat. And it's got these four rows so that the leaves can sit up, so it'll start collecting leaves, which you don't want to start grooming into the court.